Superman would be flying around, not really sure where to go. He was trying to go after Doomsday, but Doomsday was leading him towards a weird place. As he was flying towards Doomsday, suddenly something would happen. Darkseid would appear. As he would say, what's your end goal, Darkseid? He would simply smirk and say, it's time I send you to a place where you can't bother me. As suddenly the ground would start to shake, as a portal would open, and Superman would fall into the has-been universe. As Superman got up and looked around, he would try to fly away. As suddenly Lucifer appeared in front of him, as he said, please, please, please don't do that. Superman would say, who are you? I'm kind of the devil, as you can say. As Superman got ready to shoot him with eye blasts, he says, wait, 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 but I'm friendly, I'm friendly, I'm friendly, I promise. Superman would say, hmm, all right. Really? Yeah, I used X-ray vision to see your heart. A heart beats differently if it lies. You were telling the truth. Looster would say, oh, uh, thank you, I guess. Anyway, I could tell you from another universe, so I want to make a deal with you. As... Superman would say, what's that? Lucifer would say, here, put this on. As suddenly, he would summon a suit. Superman would put it on as it turned him into a sinner looking like demon. As Lucifer said, go protect the hotel. Pretend to be a, a person there. A patient looking to get redeemed. They'll know you have powers. They'll think you might be an overlord, but they won't know how strong you truly are. As Lucifer started to walk away, Superman would say, all right. How long until you can get me back? I don't know, but <laughs> I hope that it will be soon. As then Superman went right to the hotel. As he looked around, he then saw Charlie. Charlie would say, oh my God, are you here to be redeemed? Superman would simply nod. As then Charlie would grab his hand and pull him in and start to introduce him to everyone. This is Husk. As Husk would look, he would say, uh, just come to me if you want a drink. As he would sigh and roll his eyes. As then, he would, she would point the angel and go, Hey there, cutie. Mm -hmm. As angel would blow him a kiss. And then she would point to Alistair. As Alistair would look at him with a menace and scare. So, you're the new person. I hope you know the pecking order. He would then say, Ow, don't scare him. As then, Alistair would walk up to him and say, What's your name? Just call me Clark. That's it? Interesting name, Clark. Alistair could sense a greater power within him, but he didn't know how strong it was. As then he do you understand the pecking order? Superman simply looked at him and simply nodded and said, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think you understand it. As then he started to walk away, Alistair would get mad as Charlie would have to calm him down. As then Superman simply smiled and he started to walk away as suddenly Nifty jumped in front of him. As Nifty would laugh, no one talked to Alistair like that. Alistair is a very bad boy, but you talk to him bad, that makes you an even more bad boy. As then Nifty started to nuzzle against Superman. As Superman looked down at Nifty, he didn't really know what to do in this situation. After all, he liked Lois, so he kind of just, well, um awkwardly walked away i mean he could easily get rid of her but he doesn't want to do that use his powers on her because he's a nice guy after that he laid in his bed in his room and was stuck with thoughts he missed lois no matter how powerful he was he couldn't just dimension hop as these thoughts went through his head for hours on end thinking about what will happen thinking about his life eventually he decided to walk down to the bar as husk was there husk would look at superman and say why so glum he would say I miss being back home. Back home? You mean on Earth? How long ago were you there? He would make up some story say, I only perished a few months ago. Husk would say, that makes sense why you weren't scared of Ballister. A bit of advice. You may have been a big shot back on Earth, but don't mess with him. He means business, Husk would say. Trust me, I know, as he sighed. Superman would then nod as he took a drink, but... When he wasn't paying attention, Darkseid's hand would go through a portal, and just to mess with Superman, he would put pink kryptonite in the drink. And if you know what that does, then you probably know where this is leading. Suddenly, Angel would start to walk up to Superman as he would start to flirt with him. Normally, he would turn him down, considering that he's, you know, not doesn't like men like that. But for some reason, Angel seemed really attractive. As Superman started to hide his feelings, he would play hard to get until eventually he couldn't take it. As he looked at Angel and said, so, you want me, huh? Angel would say, yeah, duh, isn't that obvious, pretty boy? 
as he stood up and picked Angel up, then you'll have me. As Angel does... And to blush. He couldn't believe this. He couldn't believe that someone would actually find him interesting. Of course, he would lie to himself and everyone that this was obvious, but Superman didn't seem like a fan, and yet he took interest anyway. As Superman and Angel would have a good time, the next day would pass, and Angel would get out of the bed and start to walk away. Superman would look at him and say, what's wrong? I, I gotta go back to Val. He owns my soul. As he would simply walk off. As he was walking down, he would look at Charlie and say, what's the deal with Val? As Charlie would begin to explain things, how Val owns Angel's soul and what they know about it. As Superman was heartbroken, ever since he drank that liquid, the pink kryptonites permanently infected his blood. And he started to fall in love with Angel. As Superman was full with emotions, he felt one thing overall, and that was depression. He was depressed that such a sweet guy would be hurt like this. Angel put on a facade that was caused by this abuse. As Superman would then grab Vaggie's spear and run out. As Vaggie said, what are you doing? He would say, fixing the score. As Superman would quickly run in to Val's studio. Val would be surprised as he saw this person walking towards him. But he would smirk. So you look pretty tall and handsome. You ever think about acting? Superman would say, sure. How about the role of taking your life? As Val would say, what? As suddenly he pulled out a spear and shot laser beams at him, causing him to fall down. As Vox also got involved, Val and Vox would team up to try to beat Superman. And they would stand a chance. Just kidding. They would stand no chance, no way. They were no match. As Superman erased them both. As he destroyed them like they were nothing but ants in his way. Suddenly, Angel would walk up to him. After his, as he was in the studio working, he saw all that. He would say, why do all this? Because I care about you. As he held Angel's hands and kissed him. Angel would look at Clark for a long time contemplating this. He never had anyone care about him like this. He had never one want him like this. Should he do this? Should he be with him? Angel would stare at him and think for a long period of time. As... Angel was deep in thought. He couldn't believe this. How could someone like him like this? As then Angel kissed back and said, I liked you too. As Superman and Angel went back to the hotel, Superman was happy and he thought maybe they could be happy together. As Superman took Angel back, Vaggie would say, what the heck did you do? I took care of business. As Angel would tell him what they did, Charlie wouldn't really approve, but she would let it slide just this once. As Superman was laying on his bed, suddenly someone would appear in front of him. It was Lucifer. As he would smile as he looked at Superman, I got good news. You can go back, finally. You can go back to your timeline. As Lucifer smiled, Superman would then look at him and start to think. As he said, thanks, but no thanks. Are you sure? What? Why wouldn't you want to go back? I've fallen in love. Lucifer would say, is that so? Well, you'll have to tell them the truth eventually. I will, Superman said, as in Lucifer would smile at him and say, hmm, you're a good person. Whoever you fell in love with, I'm sure they'll make you very happy. Superman says, they will, as in Lucifer disappeared. Clark knew, however, that he had to tell Angel the truth. It was going to be crazy, but he had to do it. What was he going to think of him that he lied to him? I mean, he had to, right? He had no other choice. All these thoughts went back in his head. As he would walk down the angel and say, we need to talk, his angel would say, let me guess, you've been cheating. Cart would say, no, I'm, I'm not who I said I was. As he would sigh, he would look at him as he started to fly. Angel would say, what do you mean by that? I'm not a sinner, I'm an alien. Angel would laugh and say, don't play a silly joke like that. Superman would then show him his true form and start to sing. It's not a joke, this is who I am. I am not a sinner, I am an alien, a alien on the floor, an alien, a alien. And yeah, you all don't want to hear me sing like that. So he would sing a song, as Angel would understand, he would look at Superman shocked. He didn't know what to do, he didn't know what to say, as he simply stood at him for minutes on end. But then he said, I still love you, as they kissed, as Angel and Clark Kent were together, and they were happy. And they are ready to start their lives in this universe. And that's where I leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that thanks button if you think if you want to tip me anything.
and let me know how your days are going in the comments below my day has started out really really good but then grandma had kind of a scare breathing problems had to get her to the ambulance but she ended up being fine luckily and i was with her don't worry i didn't just wait and like skip out the recorded video i wouldn't do that but yeah things were definitely really scary there for a while but i'm glad she's okay and i just hope she doesn't really have to use an oxygen tank her whole life because of her breathing problems because what kind of life is that you know you want them to live but you also want them to live a, a happy life not a life tied to a machine like that but i don't know <sighs> Do it, does any of your relatives have breathing problems or medical conditions like that? If so, let me know and tell me how you got through it because I could use some advice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching me. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for being there. You really are great fans. You really are great supporters. And I would be nowhere without you. And this channel is a year old and we got 5,000 subscribers. But we got to make it into 6,000. Come on. Come on, y'all. Make it to 6,000. Subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do it for me. Do it for me, the man who loves you all. Love you all very, very much. Mwah. Peace out.